priests. Bottoms! Bottoms, I've been doing this podcast for three and a half years. There's only so many ways you can open up a f***ing podcast, Bottoms. How you doing? This week on the podcast, we have me and Maddie's good friend, Emil Joachim. He is so funny. Wow, we get into... This is a great episode. We talk about my eggs, sperm donors, jerking off, and then we get into like the little toxic things that are like cute and flirtatious, but then when do they become toxic? Toxic, Like performative jealousy. It's a good episode. And then as usual, patreon.com slash WHGS. Give me a dollar. Okay, just do it. And uh, and I will be so grateful if you do. I will have gratitude if you do it. <laughs> We've recorded two episodes today. Can you guys tell I'm crazy? Uh, and then I'm going to be in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Madison, Wisconsin, Calgary in Canada, where Brienne is opening for me. Columbus, Miami, Phoenix, Tempe. Uh, Come through. I want to see you there. All right. Thanks for listening, guys. Listener, you know I love my kitties, and that's why I absolutely adore Smalls. This episode is brought to you by Smalls. They are making the best cat food in the biz, okay? My cat absolutely loves it. They are just frothing at the mouth for the cat food. And my cats are throwing up less, coughing less. I have a cat with a sensitive tummy. He absolutely loves Smalls. I'm never going back. Don't just shake my word for it. After making the switch to small, 78% of cat owners reported their cats had shinier and softer fur and 90% reported overall health improvements. I'm in that category, listener. That is a big deal. Give your cat the gift of great cat food this holiday season. Head to smalls.com slash gay and use promo code gay at checkout for 50% off your first order plus free shipping. That's the best offer you'll find, but you have to use my code gay for 50% off your first order. One last time, that's promo code GAY for 50% off your first order plus free shipping. Get them smalls, listener. Listener, this episode is brought to you by Green Chef, my absolute favorite meal kit. Okay, and the reason it's my favorite, it's quick, it's delicious, they're sustainable, and it's got something for everyone. I'm a vegetarian, Jen's a pescatarian, and Green Chef makes it so easy for us to cook up a delicious meal. Go to greenchef.com slash 60gay and use code 60gay to get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. That's a great deal, but you got to go to greenchef.com slash 60gay and use code 60gay to get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. Green Chef, the number one meal kit for eating well. (laughs) My God girlfriend fucking didn't let me have any gay sex this week. <laughs> <laughs> she was leaving for tour for like, you know, seven months. She was talking to her gay guy friends about it. The worst people she could have had. Cause then she, cause they go, Oh, just, just do an open thing. And so she was like, you know, if you need to go kind of mess around when I'm gone, like I get it. However, I responded was a little too like, Oh, cool. <laughs> And then we got in a fight probably (laughs) 10 seconds later. Yeah, why do you think you're here? See, now I now I feel scared to answer it directly. Because <laughs> it is funny as a straight dude to be like, hey, do you want to do the podcast? And you're like, did you just call me a slur? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that's f- it. And I will say that to your face. Thank you. <laughs> See, thank you. Yeah, I think that's why. It's because all my gay friends do call me gay. So then I'm like- Do oh, they I'm-. actually? Yeah, 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 for sure. How long has that been going on? Since I've started taking care of myself. <laughs> <laughs> Since I've been I want to see gay reclaimed in that way. Bro, you are looking gay. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? Are you at the gym? Like, it's at the haircut? Because you were, oh my God, you were looking like a f*** it right now. Yeah. Like, my one friend Jonas in Bloomington would always be like, I'm gay, but you're a f word. Like, he would always Because <laughs> I'd have, like, my jeans cuffed. And, like, I went through a phase where I rolled my t-shirt sleeves, too. Yeah. I've been through a lot of phases, folks. Well, you dress so well. That's not oh, why you're thanks. here. But, like, you... When I see you, I think I'm a schmuck. Like I, I hate. Yeah, I am same. trying so hard. That's so sweet. I disagree. Every time game. I see both of you guys, I'm like very well dressed. Really? Yeah, for sure. 
No, Emil's just so nice. Are you just saying that? <laughs> no, I'm serious. You always we did just say the, the, we the did torture, just. I saw the torture of a smile. Well, I'm just laughing. <laughs> I'm laughing because when we got in, we did just say, oh, "There's something beautiful about your hair. What is it?" And then we we're like, "Oh, no hat. That's what it was. You <laughs> yeah, don't have no a hat, hat covering it." We were joking that the, my hair is one of my best features. Why do I? Well, I know why I wear the hat. Why? Because it keeps the hair out of my face on stage. Oh. Yeah, I hate having to just do, a const I'm just constantly running my fingers through my hair my on stage. Hair. Yeah. Is and it a statement also then, instead of doing like a Well, like then a it bun? became almost like a branding thing. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Well, yeah, true, you could do a high pony. No, absolutely not. Oh my God, high pony. No, 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 that's not me. But it when wouldn't be, I think I would be like, whoa, weird, what is this? Yeah. Not weird, sorry, cool. Even <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Whatever, awesome. We love a lesbian and awesome. I. Awesome, however you want to wear your hair. I want you to use whatever bathroom you want. I want you to do your hair however However high you want your pony, you <laughs> want a bun, whatever it is that you're doing. You just always have it. It's everything. It's an accessory. It's a, it's a layer. It's a fucking, Thanks, it's a glasses. No, it's so like, cool. That's Guys, what so people sweet. who do it really well do. Like It's always like a little detail. And I was saying I want to be a card cardigan guy, but I don't know that, I don't like the way they look on me. But you just try it on. Try this on. Okay. Okay. I'm well, the cardigans have such a relaxed, like holding a cup of tea. Shut the fuck up! That, see, that's what I'm saying. You in a cardigan right. being like, the numbers! And yeah. it's, it's like. <laughs> Loosen up! In a cardigan. Chamomile tea on stage. Yeah. Joe Para would never be like, <laughs> why are you guys pulling back on me? <laughs> you with like sleeves over your wrists like this. like Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Ariana Grande. <laughs> <laughs> well, is this going to be, I don't know. You're kind of a small guy. No offense or anything. You're not but it's baggy. The, the cardigan look is baggy, I think. Is it? Is Let me see. Is anything happening here? Dude, yeah. Really? Pretty cool. Can I look in that mirror real quick? Can I think I maybe, yeah, it? maybe a different bottom would complement it well, better. yeah, I'm not going to wear it. Yeah, I'm just yeah, always looking for a different bottom. Works. I think you could. <laughs> Brother, that's not the point of this podcast. <laughs> Looking for a new bottom. That's why I'm here. Fuck. <laughs> I, I, you know, it's it's not enjoyable for me to bottom women anymore. I need to I need to find my next challenge. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's and not I, sexuality. It's wait, pure when you say conquest. you bottom, yeah. that means you're the one bottoming, or you're you, they're they're the bottom. You're, uh, you're saying it like a verb. Ah, yeah. uh, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. No, 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 no. What you're? I'm here to learn. What you're encountering right now is something that I would say is disputed within the lesbian community. Okay, and nice. What is, I would say most lesbians feel that bottom. Me pretending like I know more. anything more than Emil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Emil, you should really listen to what she's about to say really loudly yeah. in both of our directions. <laughs> <laughs> say it to both of us, anyway, though. Just Emil, like um, <laughs> I would say it's more of a sub vibe than yes. an actual, because in, in gay male, you know, cis gay men, it's like very much taking a dick up the ass. But you're saying oh. you're bottom, when you say I'm bottoming women, you are being the bottom for women or you're making oh, what other did women I the say? bottom? Did you said I, I can't slip? keep bottoming women. And I think he was saying the phrasing of it was that, confusing as like making That's a, just bad grammar. Okay, no, that's, <laughs> that's fine. That's not a gay thing. You that guys could tell me literally anything and I would be like, <laughs> for sure, that's what, that must be what it is. That was a Freudian slip was what that was. Okay. <laughs> but I, I did look good in that. It's funny Maybe that my clothes I, brought up this idea of bottoming to you. <laughs> Somehow it transitioned okay, us to- Okay, okay, your, your insecurity, your toxic masculinity no, no, is showing. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But, no, no, I'm just messing trying around. to be self-deprecating. <laughs> <laughs> Please like me. <laughs> Please. Are you a little scared? I love the- <laughs> No, I'm trying to think. I love the energy men bring to this program. No, 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 like I'm not- Like having Chris DiStefano here and getting a faint whiff of like, like, you know, vulnerability and, and it's so funny. nervousness off of him was so fun. Yeah, that rocks. We need to do it more. Yeah. We gotta get Mark Normand. <laughs> that would be awesome. I think that is the next level and I don't know why I'm scared to do it. I'm scared of what people will think of me, but now I have no reason to be scared anymore. But um, I think I just need to size up massively. You wanna even go bigger and baggy? No, 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 what I'm saying is I think I've gotten cardigans that fit too well. Yeah, no, they should be oversized. They should be massively oversized. Yeah. But you're somewhere in between cardigan and leather jacket. You're like, I want a leather jacket as well, but I have not made the Your investment. voice trembled. <laughs> you went, I want a leather it's jacket. A, it's a big, it's a big purchase. No, I know. I wore a leather jacket the other day. And I've been I was drifting like, and I- a leather jacket is just a big decision. It's a massive decision. Well, actually, I think for girls, it looks just better, just natural. Like for guys, it's like, it's a little Guido-y. Like it's a little <laughs> yeah. like too- 
Yeah. Is this guy like? You can't say that here. Sorry. That's Guido? also a lesbian or, term. No, I'm messing around. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. All my opinions are going to be so lukewarm from now on. I think leather jackets are cool. That's it. Or That's not. Well, you can't yeah. say that a snooky is when a girl uh, squirts into your nose. I don't even know. <laughs> on a lasagna. That's a snooky is when a girl squirts on a lasagna. That's what it. It's a it's a bolognese. What's the? I like the decor. What's the banana? Oh, I What's won it. Thank you so much for asking me. I won new? this at Coney so, Island. Oh, nice. Yeah. Is it a new addition to the to the studio? People don't. Kind of relatively. Yeah. yeah. Maddie's not a huge fan of it. That was kind of the best that? day Did of I my life. That? I like how it's that next to like a really good achievement, which is like a YouTube like hundred thousand plaque. It's, <laughs> it's like covering kind of, it a little. Yeah, bit. it's kind of actually more important <laughs> to no, you right now. No, I won one of those carnival games at Coney Island, and I actually think that's harder to do. Honestly, what was the game? It was uh the th they have the three blocks stacked on top of each other. You have to knock them down, but you cannot knock them off the table that they're on. So they're on like a small table. This is a new one. I don't know if I've heard of this game. It's three, it, you know, it's like three of those cubes. No, it's been around. It's three cubes stacked. Yeah. You have to throw the ball, hit the cubes so that they all are touching the table, but do not fall off the table. I and spent no $40. One does, no one, oh, okay. So it's He hard, says it's, like yeah. one to two people win a day. Wow. Yeah. Wow. You have the hat backwards, and you fucking. <laughs> do you have a good arm? Like, do you did you play sports? No, okay. no, no. What, what, I mean, I have a good arm. Okay, I got a good arm. Okay, okay. You got a good arm. I from got the, a good from, arm from the wrist down. You just, <laughs> well, this muscle. You just this hooking muscle. into a girl's pussy and throwing her across the room. <laughs> I bowled a woman. Well, see, whatever this woman. this muscle is is yeah. probably good for like curveballs and stuff. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. That why is softball why so pushing underhand? You think those girls would have a wicked, a wicked spin? Well, no, it's on. underhand because that's where you grab the ball from. Oh, you're right. That's true. <laughs> that's Unless so she's funny. upside down, you know. Um, but we're in the apartment. We're having gay sex. We're having gay sex with Emil Joaquim today. We're having gay sex, folks. <laughs> happy to happy to have it. You did it. <laughs> happy, happy to have happy it. Happy to be happy it. to be here. Happy to have it. Um, yeah, thank you. You're a comedian. Yeah. The I, best, I, like truly the best. Oh like, my gosh. Like you're, the best ever. I, what I love about you is your, you know, your premises. I just feel like whenever I watch you, I'm like, God, like you say gay and queer shit that I'm like angry that I didn't come up with it. Oh, thanks. And it dude. makes me feel like bad as a gay person. <laughs> well, that's my goal in my woman. heart is I do want to, I'm glad I could finally resonate with my <laughs> target, which is to make the gay community feel bad. <laughs> finally, <laughs> my long way workaround. <laughs> uh, uh, ally tricked such, into- Such an ally that yes, you become the enemy. Such an ally that I do want to actually Her, create negative yeah. feelings. <laughs> no, you're so good. You, you, I mean, like- you do you do great at Sunday school. I just think you're so funny. Thanks, buddy. That's so sweet. I yeah, love yeah. you. Yeah, and you also not to brag, my he's favorites. my best friend in the whole world. And not to brag, we did. I did wait for Maddie to come up because I'm scared to go anywhere without her. <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of here five minutes before, but I didn't really know what the building was like, so I did just wait downstairs for Maddie oh, to get God, here. Oh God, I thought you meant like come up, like come up in the scene. Oh no, no, I no! You were like, I waited. I meant come up to this building for this Maddie apartment to, get, to achieve something, <laughs> so that I could go on the road. Yes, because I only go on the road with Maddie. We are like like codependent little like. Uh, like twins that like can't stop wearing, like have to wear the same shirt or something. Totally. Like we'll text each other. Are, are you going to be here? <laughs> I'll be at a place gonna... being like, are you there yet? And I'm already there just <laughs> feeling her out. And she's like, no, I'm a couple minutes away and I'll leave the are building and come back in. Are you nervous with me? No, I'm, I'm nervous in just all new situations. Really? Yeah, I'd say so. You come across as very confident to me. That's great. I'm always in the moment when it starts, I'm like, okay. But I think beforehand, I'm always like, what's going to, you know, I'm trying to predict how it's going to go down. And yeah. I'm like, oh God, I'm going to walk in and just say something horrible. <laughs> I guess that's the downside of like, you are like truly like a genius, but then also you like have a brain that can let you overthink. I think it's it, autism. Like it, is I was just, <laughs> <laughs> I was, You're really good at like one thing, but then that <laughs> is kind of your Achilles heel for the rest of your life. You don't realize it's autism because your special talent happens to be a social skill. Yes. But it is like a savant. <laughs> it's not autism because some women find the thing attractive sometimes. <laughs> hey, if you think autistic guys aren't getting pussy, yeah. go through my fucking phone, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping the community. <laughs> <laughs> it's not all autism. trains and whistles, okay? 
I was about to say pot calling the kettle black when you told him you were like, wow, it's crazy that you're so good. You're so good. And then you're always nervous all the time. That's, that's yeah, like, you, I feel like everyone, you guys all have that also. It's we like, all, I think that is a classically yeah. comedian. If you're good at comedy, you're probably a, a lunatic in some other part yeah. of your life. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to get away from from gay sex for too long. Uh, yeah. Let's turn. Let's get this a little it. more gay. This Come is. On. It's not gay enough. That was too um, so that was she's talk. like eating breakfast in the morning. I don't wanna- <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dude, brushing your teeth. I would love to get back to gay sex right now. <laughs> <laughs> You're running errands. This seems really far from gay sex. I got to get my life back together. What do you think is the longest you could go without masturbating or fucking? Wow. Wow. We really brought us back here. I am not the biggest masturbator. Really? Yeah. Yeah. There was a period in my life earlier when I was in a long distance relationship that I I used to do it like consistently, like most nights, like before I went to bed, like to help me fall asleep and stuff like that. But lately in my 30s, and maybe this is just because I've been more of a whore. I'm in an open relationship. I'm not a creep. That's all. I'm happy for you. That's great. Thanks. I have an open relationship story. Oh, really? Looks like it was good. Daddy's heard it. (laughs) Um, But maybe that's like has to do with how much sex I'm having. But even while Jen was in L.A. and my roster was super dry, I was not masturbating that often. Wow. Yeah. I think I could probably go. Is this going to turn into a thing where I have to do this? It's no. going to ruin the podcast. What do you now mean? you have to commit to the number yeah, you're saying? I think I could do three months. What? I think yeah, I could, I think do I could too. I've gone a few months before where I've just been like, oh, I guess I didn't jerk off. Dude, if I went three months, I would kill a person. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why men have to. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. These. Like, I know it's annoying to say, to, but it does feel like uh, I got to just get this out. No, I, you know? I, I mean like- How many times do I have to jerk off a day to make the voices stop? <laughs> <laughs> do you have like a preferred time? Uh, during the day, yeah, yeah every guy, men? guy jerks off. At, they're like sort of like aiming it at their dad in some way. Like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait, actually, I said yes too quick. Please, uh, please elaborate a little more. I went for sure and to a know, crazy it, it, sentence. <laughs> <laughs> no, I meant about stopping the voices. It didn't really make sense. No, it, no, it yes. totally makes. I meant sense. just that you're like being like. Sh- well, it kind of feels it didn't like make sense. Uh, <laughs> you know how there's no. Like, it's sort of like praying to Allah. You face the direction of Mecca. <laughs> yeah. You, yes. you you turn the direction of your neuroses. Yeah. And, uh, and you face going, opposite the light, the yeah, sun. You whatever. Back to the, <laughs> yeah. To exactly. That is good you in the world. go to the darkness, <laughs> and is, then you you come. You know how you hear about it's like every drop of cum has like seven million whatever little thing like little guys in it. That's <laughs> kind of what it feels like to have it inside. It does feel like there's like. <laughs> There's like three billion voices and guys, and you're like, ah, I just gotta, I just gotta flush it down the it's toilet. It's quieter when you're done. Yeah, oh it's my God, quieter. That's There's so too funny. many guys inside me right now. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> and they are motivated. Yeah, they're really. They got a goal. They're, they're driven. They're, they're blue collar. They're like yeah. oil drilling. They're like, we gotta get in there, and we have a job to do. Exactly. And then I just want to like journal and do yoga. They're like, this is not driving with us. <laughs> Um, well, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Uh, I'm Ashley Gavin. We do the, uh, we do. I'm Ashley this is Gavin. The intro still? What's that? We're, yeah. We just intro. We're, yeah, I just, it's, I love a, it. it's a thing. It's, it's like, like a Tarantino like, movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's like 30 minutes in and then it's like, oh my God, the title scene? That's crazy. <laughs> they already killed two people off. <laughs> we killed off millions. Yeah, we killed off a bunch. <laughs> uh, we're in the apartment. We're having gay sex with Emil Joaquim. I'm Ashley Gavin. I'm a cis gay white woman. She, her pronouns, and as always, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes gay Maddie, is that how you were going to bring her up? I thought that's, that's the new intro. I'm, yeah. The sometimes gay hall monitor <laughs> to keep me from getting canceled. <laughs> you failed. <laughs> Maddie a, Wiener. Oh, yeah. I saw Maddie got, got hit on yesterday by a girl. Oh, yeah. I'm coming back to this later. We need to yes. get you drunk. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> so that you can have sex with someone while so inebriated. That, so that you can, <laughs> we need to lower your inhibition so you'll stop 
saying no to sex. <laughs> this is really just cum town, but it is just under the guise of gay people. <laughs> so actually, we can't say anything wrong. You actually, I'm stop you nailed it, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I started this podcast, this is no I was cum like, town. Is, there, is there somewhere between guys we fucked and cum town that yes. I can make a podcast? And this is how, that's how I, I came really, up with I the like idea. I really, I like the vibe, totally. Yeah, no cum town, that's so funny. Um, But w no, seriously, having you on the podcast, I love you, you're the funniest person I've ever met in my entire life. But sometimes you're like, um, I kiss someone. Fuck, you gotta cut that. The way I said one, they're gonna know exactly who I was talking about. <laughs> one is in their social security number. So I, I think they're gonna figure out who it is. You gotta let go a little bit. No one is listening to this podcast being like, all right, I'm gonna find that guy. Like, no, nobody, nobody. I'm telling you, man, be free. Thanks. And I don't just mean this for the podcast. I mean, in life, I wanna see you be free. Oh yeah, I really gotta work on that. Burn a couple bridges. I would love start, to see you some... just, just really annoy someone. <laughs> no. uh, there's someone I have in mind. Ooh. Wow. I, I, I will tell you afterwards. There's someone that. <laughs> yes, perfect. <laughs> Once we cut recording. Yeah. <laughs> I, I hope you didn't take that as a. No, no, no. I actually really appreciate it. I, I no. want to be free from yeah. my own mental prison also. Yeah. <laughs> but thank you for being here. Do you oh, mind? I'm, I'm Maddie Wiener. She, oh, they yeah. pronouns. I guess, you know, gender fluid kind of who gives a fuck. Uh, bye. I give a fuck. Thank you. Um, and I'm a comic and I'm on Instagram, Maddie T. Wiener. And I'm going on tour. And I'm doing an hour at the Lyric Hyperion in LA, February 6th. Come see Hell that. Hell yeah. Go hey, see it. Go, go see, see Maddie. It. She rocks. Thank and you. Emil, do you know, mind? Why don't I just plug that? I'm like, go see Maddie. Guy who's a guest on the podcast. <laughs> hey, followers, go see Maddie. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, um, I feel so comfortable here. No, no, that's our job. Yeah. You just um, said, sorry, you I feel that. so comfortable. <laughs> sorry, I feel comfortable in your, in your home. <laughs> sorry, I feel comfortable about the thing you invited me to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm feeling good about this thing that people are going to relax to while they're, you know, on their commute to work. When I walked in and I asked to use your bathroom, I did this. Do you ever do, you ever do it where like you use someone's bathroom and it's like awkward because it's qu so quiet, you know, that they're going to hear everything you do. We didn't. So I, I didn't lock the door because I don't know why I thought you guys would think that would be rude that I would lock the door in your <laughs> house. Like it's your and house. People you have say the right. Men and women are not equal. <laughs> that logic, is the most feminine thing you could possibly. I don't want to. I don't want anyone to hear that click if, if because it, well, it the logic I was someone. like, it's so rude to be like, no, like it's your home. <laughs> you should be allowed to walk in. On hey, Emil. <laughs> like, Emil, I really I'm, had that thought for a second. Sorry, I'm gonna. I'm gonna need to come in and see your dick, please. Thank yeah. you. Sorry, sorry, I'm just gonna have to come in and watch you piss. Do okay. you or do you not respect gay people? I'm gonna need to do whatever I want right now. It's homophobic if you don't let me. Do you mind, um, we do an intro where we just, I don't know if you heard me and Maddie do it, but yeah. we say what we That's are. where I draw the line, folks. <laughs> no, of course, yeah. My name's Emil Joaquim. I'm a comedian, he, him. And I'm cis, straight, half white though. Pretty fun. <laughs> Not fully bad guy. <laughs> Not fully bad Only guy. a little white. Um, yeah. <laughs> Did I miss any? No. No, they love that. Okay, they cool. love when people aren't white. Well, they love yeah. saying that. And then they don't watch the episodes as much. They just see a guy that doesn't really look white and they go, yes, great. Next. Yeah. <laughs> that is white liberalism kind of perfectly. We're not going to really hear the voices, but we will glance at them and go, go. Yeah, sure. Good, good, good. That's why they call it representation. Cause it's like, oh, you're not actually, it's, you're not engaging with the person. You're just like, you like the idea of a representation of that person. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Listener, are you listening to our Patreon exclusive, You're Having Gay Sex? Well, here's a sneak peek of what you missed last week. Have you ever taken a political compass test? Let's do it. Military action that defies international law is sometimes justified. Agree. Whoa. What's an example? I'm just thinking... If someone hurt Jen, <laughs> <laughs> and All I right. have to violate international law. You're allowed law. to break the Geneva Convention. Yeah. You at the Nuremberg trials. Ashley, what you did to the man who touched Jen's ass at a bar. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there are four bonus episodes a month of this series, You're Having Gay Sex, on our Patreon at the $10 tier, and then two at the $5 tier. Patreon.com slash WHGS. Yeah, I know. Should I get into my gay sex from the week? Let's do How it. How long have we been going?
23 minutes. Whoa. Ooh, long banter. Do an intro. Do another intro right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I, mine's kind of quick because like I've been, I'm on estrogen. Yes. I get my eggs Con extracted. Congrats. Thank you so much. I'm freezing my eggs. <laughs> Do you guys I mean, looking at me nodding and going? Congrats. Do you guys want to see, see my eggs? What? Oh, this is to get your eggs out. Is it what's it called? D <laughs> get D them out. DTV or something? S it's IVF, like a, IVF, but it's not DTF. Down. <laughs> down to fertilize. <laughs> Wait, did you think she was just on like estrogen the, because I have no idea. <laughs> I thought it was for your. You guys have said something about her hair, and I was like, maybe it's a hair thing. Um, I was like well, birth control. I don't know why that. I've was noticed really my skin. Like, can you tell my skin? You is, do look great. You're like glowing. My hair. I mean, it is. It is. I'm trying to write a bit about this, and then I'll get my phone and I'll show you guys my ex. But huh. um, pictures. Yeah, Whoa. an ultrasound. Dang. Whoa. So the way it works, if you don't know, is every month when you get your period, or you know whatever happens to you. Yeah. They um, <laughs> not this the one of your eggs will fully mature, but every single egg follicle does have an egg in it. You're born with all of your eggs. Every egg that you'll have your entire life is in your body at birth, yeah. which is crazy to me. Yeah. Doesn't that sound like some sort of Lord of the Ring shit? Like they're all inside of you and then one gets chosen. Like it's just so crazy and, and mythological to me that <laughs> that they're all there from the beginning. Like all of it's your like, children. Yeah, it's like every fossil fuel or something. It's like the reserves are there. Yeah, exactly. And they're going to dry, you know, but at, that's at some all point you got. that's all you got. Yeah. Yeah. And so every month, you know, every follicle will have an egg. Um, and that means you'll have however many eggs, but only one will mature and find its way out of you, basically. Get released by the ovum or whatever. And uh, whatever, I don't know what I'm talking about, but I know that much. But the way egg freezing works is you take these hormones and these medications that make every single one mature. So for this cycle, I will have maybe 20 eggs. 20 good eggs. 20 good eggs. Ready to do whatever. Yeah, whatever you wanna do with them. But they don't Jeez know they're just them, gonna hang out. Cook them. What are you gonna do with them? You're freezing them. Yeah, I'm freezing them for a child, maybe in the future. Yes. Okay, nice. Yeah, I do so, like the, the estrogen though, making your skin and hair like nice. It's like the way that Joe Rogan takes testosterone to like be more buff. Yeah. It's like you you should become like a new type of like you take estrogen to become more of a woman. It's like a like that's a, ex but Maddie, that is exactly what's happening. It's like you're not trans, but you're like cis squared. Like I'm, you're like I'm super. You cis. are cis, but then you're like. <laughs> doing the same process of like, I feel like a woman, I'm a cis woman. Damn, but I I'm feel gonna like take, a woman. But yeah, you're like, I'm gonna take estrogen to really fucking crank it up. Is yeah. it making you feel straighter mentally? Do you have some weird straight cravings? No. Right Cause that happens to trans people sometimes. That, that they get on hormones and their sexuality. It's you true. You can fuck with your sexuality. I've heard right. with trans men, the testosterone can change their sexuality. So like they become attracted to men. Right. Yeah. You haven't noticed anything? No. Have you noticed any? <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, well, here's what I am noticing. When I went on the birth control, I became more insecure. I started, I was like, I feel fat. I feel stupid. I'm not funny. Birth control fucks with you. Yeah. yeah. And so like, that's like, it's like making everything more woman, including my <laughs> insecurities. Yes. Like I was, you know what I mean? Like wow. I, I don't associate insecurity with being a woman, except that I, I do. You know what I mean? Like, mm. It's weird to think of it as like a hormonal thing. Yeah. You know what I and mean? Not like, just and not just a societal thing. But it made me it made me more insecure. Damn. And and my hair is so like luscious and my skin is glowing. I do. I feel like I'm a woman in the way it really fucks you up. You scrap the podcast. I'm straight now, guys. I can't <laughs> keep doing this. <laughs> no, it really fucks you up because you think like, oh, gender is a spectrum and we've all been socialized. And then you have, <laughs> then you have the hormones, and I like smell different, dude. I Guys, literally okay. we got to get back to talking about gay black people. This is a weird <laughs> road we're going down. Hormones and societal. Well, the, the, funny, well, you know, the, uh, the funny thing about smelling different is it smells like a different woman. So I keep smelling this other woman, and I'm like, oh my god, who is that? But who you. Is she? <laughs> <laughs> There's a woman around and I don't know who it is, but I want to find her. That's so. She funny. smells really good. You know what's crazy? The hormones thing of it all, and this is gonna sound really problematic, but I've thought about it a lot, and it's like true every time. I'll be like having a really like I'll be like a feeling in a masculine phase and dressing more masculine and carrying myself differently, 
and I'm about to get my period. Yeah. Because your testosterone spikes when you're on your period. But it sounds like a Fox News conspiracy to be like, I'm not trans. I was just on my period. Your, <laughs> your, car, your car heart is your bad underwear that you wear on your period <laughs> with the stains and everything. <laughs> but it Comes really- out once a month. Yeah, there you are, old friend. Beanie on, Lincoln Lodge beanie. <laughs> so where in your cycle are you right now? You can I mean, guess. You can guess on how she's dressed. <laughs> Lipstick oh on. Okay, well, so this feels pretty femme to me, except are you, you got ovulating? The <laughs> yeah, I think I am actually. <laughs> I actually am. That's so funny. Oh my god! Well, Don't let Fox News see this episode. They're gonna twist all our all the angles. Wait, this is so fucked up. Now everyone can just know what part of my cycle I'm on based on because it really is like down to a like it. God, I'm such a bitch right before I get my period. Maybe that's how I'm like a man. I'm just being an asshole. You're saying gender is a spectrum and this spectrum is the month. <laughs> like, <laughs> is your period tracker out? It's a moon, it's a moon cycle. Yeah. Yo, if you, if you told people that gender is real, they'd be like, hey, wait a minute. And then you're like, it's the moons. They'd be like, okay, wait, I, that's that so sounds funny. correct It's to like me, a werewolf. Actually. You're turning into a man like, the, like, a, like, a, like a full moon brings it out of you. <laughs> um, wait, let me grab my phone so I can show you guys my ex. And would um, it be both? You'd put your eggs in like a thing and then it randomizes or no? Does that sound stupid? No, like it doesn't sound. Heard. She was, Isn't that a thing people do? No, somewhere? I think it is a thing. We it definitely is. do that with so you don't know. Um, well, she might carry one of my eggs at okay, some nice. point. Are you going to pick out- Oh, that's a nice you combo. Up, then you get yeah. your egg, her body. You're like both in yeah. there. Where are you going to get the cum? We talked about- <laughs> Great question. We've talked about this before, but Lucas Zelnick is really vying to be my baby. Isn't that daddy. a great option? That would be awesome. I think it's too much me. He See, and I are too similar. Oh, sure. But wouldn't you want a kid that you're like, there's me in that indirectly. <laughs> and by me, I mean my friend. <laughs> well, we, I, I'm, I keep so little private on this podcast, but the sperm thing, there is a solution that we like that I, I, I'm not saying online. Can you whisper it in my ear just so I know? Yeah, but can I do it after we're done recording? Okay. Yeah. What are the options available? Just you don't have to say which ones you're leaning towards, but you like there's one, there's like a website, you know. right? And you could just yeah, find you could a guy. Go, you could go get a, a donor. Yeah. You probably could find any guy to be honest. You probably don't even need the website. <laughs> any guy you ask would probably be like, sure, here's come. Do you think that's true? No. I mean, for it depends. Would you? You're gonna, huh? If I told you I wanted your come, would you take it or give it to me? No, probably not. Just because I would be like, I'd feel weird having a kid that I'm not helping to raise, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. I think, I don't know. But I don't know. If would you donate change, sperm? If times change, then like I need a little cash. Maybe who knows? <laughs> yeah. Would I donate sperm? And honestly, probably not also for the same reason. Same reason, okay. But like in the past, the, the, all, every guy's heard like, oh, you know, you can just go, you just go jerk off and they give you 500 bucks and guys are like, oh, I can't wait to do that one day. Like, I feel like every guy thinks that's an option somehow. <laughs> you can just go. Yeah, they'll like turn a lot of guys down. I For think. sure. Yeah. Do like they? you're five, yeah. five, nine. Alex is nodding. Were you rejected? No, I just did intense research one day in college. See, you went through the phase too, yeah, right? Yeah. Where you thought this might be a side hustle. Why yeah, they, exactly. why it's like donating they... plasma. You're kind of like, oh, uh, it's just kind of, it seemed the markets, you know, it's like people want, to pick an ideal candidate, you know? I saw there's an see, ad There's for, even a bit of like racial biases yeah. and stuff I mean, yeah, you think like dating that. apps are bad. Imagine sifting through, girls sifting through like a cum thing. Of yeah. It's not even you, it's just your cum. <laughs> it's you just know. your cum. Yeah, it's they, a, it well, it really boils you down on. to who you actually are when there's no yeah. love it's involved. A sperm, it's sperm holding a microphone on stage. <laughs> How that help get people interested? I do comedy. Yeah. <laughs> they check like family history for like mental illness and everything. Like they go pretty in depth. Yeah. Of like a you know, physiological breakdown of you. Yeah. yeah. I saw an ad asking for eggs for people who are above five, seven and they're offering a hundred grand. And I was like, where was Jesus. this a few years ago? I totally would have done this, but now I'm too old. My eggs are not, are not yeah. um, as desired. Uh, but I might freeze my eggs at some point too. I mean, just because like, I don't- How old are you? 25. Do it now. I mean, I should do it while they're still healthy. Yeah. But I, I just don't have the money to do it now. Yeah, but like, it's, it's expensive. But like when I do, I mean, because Patreon. like- Patreon.com slash <laughs> But I- uh, <laughs> You're funding your my babies. tears, yeah. <laughs> Ashley's eggs, Maddie and Ashley's eggs. <laughs> oh, extra $3, all right, I'll do that. But I would love to have a kid at like 35 plus, And it's like, that's just not gonna happen. I mean, that's even hard with the freezing the eggs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, But lucky for me, I'm pretty fertile guys, which is Woo. hilarious. Woo. Isn't that Ooh. funny? I'm so fertile. 
Why is it funny? I don't know. There's you just, wouldn't expect you to be. You I would, just feel like I'm so gay. I shouldn't be fertile. <laughs> <laughs> You're so gay. You should be barren. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> but I have a lot of follicles, and this is what they they look like on the um. On the ultrasound. Are they the black thing? It'd be yeah. so yeah. funny if it was oh, just like wow. your spread open look pussy. How, look, some, <laughs> of them, some of them are way bigger than others. Or is that just perspective? Yeah, they're they're growing them. So they're going to get the biggest one. That's the other ovary. Whoa. They're getting them to- It's like boba. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it does look like boba. Um, that's one. But Whoa. He'll, he'll move the camera around. That's way bigger than I thought They're going to get be. twice as big as that. Whoa. Isn't that crazy? That is crazy. But that's still like microscopic, right? I don't like, really. You don't see anything come out when Alex, you Alex, can them. you look up how big the eggs get? Biggest egg found. <laughs> <laughs> how big, you know, you, you know how to use Google. Be very careful what you type in. Um, but that's my, that's my gay sex from this week. And next week, next Wednesday, I'll have them extracted and hopefully I will have really good news about how many came out and I can tell you exactly the probability of me having a successful pregnancy. Oh, I really, it is me happy. You get so excited and light up when you talk about it and it makes me really happy. I really, I, I, I think one of the more feminine things about me is that like, I really love kids and I really want to be a mom. So that rocks. yeah. I'm, so it's going to be soon ish. Well, next couple years. I mean, I'm actually sort of hoping it's like in my mid forties, but oh, okay. I'm afraid I'm going to get hate on the internet for that. For having a kid in your forties? Yeah. People my, are going to be like, why it's cool my to mom, the kid. Yeah. And like, I don't, I don't know. My mom had my sister when she was 45. I think people on no, the internet. No <laughs> egg freezing. So. I think two women having a baby, you're going to get a lot of other comments on the internet other than you're 40. <laughs> <laughs> people are going to find other things wrong with it. <laughs> uh, the human egg or ovum is one of the largest cells in the human body. Yeah, I knew that. That said, it is still very small and measures approximately 0 0.12 millimeters in diameter. You would need nine eggs to reach a millimeter in length. And if you laid 100 of them side by side, they would sit on a line just 12 millimeters or 1.2 centimeters Well, I'm gonna long. have 20. Can we get this converted to the met to the fucking, what are we on the metric system? <laughs> <laughs> millimeters, that's nothing to me. <laughs> I was like, it is so funny, the idea of what you're saying of getting comments being like, this is unnatural. And you're like, I know medicines come really far. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, that's my gay sex room this week. Did you have gay sex, sex this week? No gay sex this week. My fucking, my girlfriend fucking didn't let me have any gay sex this week. <laughs> <laughs> the old ball and fucking chain. Bitch. Oh, what a drag. I really had a girlfriend. Yeah. She's the best, dude. She's so cool. She rocks. I She's so her. talented. She's a musical theater so talented. artiste. Yeah. Oh, really? She's on tour on She's Chicago. On tour. Can I say that right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. She's on tour on, She's in the cast of Chicago. That's She's Chicago like tour. incredible. She's so talented. I'm so proud of her. But we're long, we've been long distance for like four months. Oh, God. And it's like there's three more months of this tour. Yeah. So it's been. Yeah, I feel great, that. You know, not, not. Easy, but it's, but not bad. So she's living in Chicago. No, it's weird. Everyone no, no, Chicago. I'm so stupid. No, no, no. But literally, every I've tried to talk to my she's parents. She's touring the city of Chicago. I even understood what you said before, dude. Everyone <laughs> it wasn't has done even. This. I knew you were talking about the musical Chicago because I was like, oh, who is she playing? I was back at, at home for Christmas. My dad was like, where's Kate? And I was like, Toronto. And he's like, when does she go back to Chicago? And I was like, no, she's. <laughs> it's not. It doesn't even go to Chicago this time. <laughs> They're not even stopping in Chicago. But yeah, it's been it's been nice. It's been good. Two years almost. Um. Wow. Yeah. Also talking about the arc of it, I feel like we, I had just moved here and we were just like becoming good friends when you guys had just met and it's kind of cute to watch it like yeah. blossom. Yeah, you're right. It was like when you first moved here. Because I remember when you were like, had gone on like a couple dates. Well, we had a really slow start. Are you going to marry her? I th we think about it. Yeah, we talk about it. Cool. It feels like it's definitely like on the table. Cool. Yeah. But like, you know, we're just doing the, you know, we're, we're kind of soft living together here and there when she comes back for weeks. So it's like, we're, we're, we're testing everything That's out. That's great. Yeah. It's really nice. It does feel very adult. Like it feels older than how we are, but I'm kind of like, that's How nice. old are you? 25. She's 26. Okay. Yeah. It's not that. I mean, in New York City, it's young. Well, I think also for stand up skews the like, like mid twenties is a totally normal time to get married and start having kids, but stand up is like. That you hit at age like 35, 40, what most other careers you're hitting yes. at like your mid 20s, where yes. you're like, oh, I'm like in management yeah. now versus like I'm selling out club. It's like that happens so much later. So it feels like I feel like I should get married at 35 and have a kid at 42. Totally. But that I just mean, that's ain't what it. I'm trying to do. 
Um, you don't feel that like, I feel like the problem with meeting someone at this age is that like weird thing in your body where you're like, oh man, I wasn't a slut in my twenties. Do you know what I mean? For sure. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think I got, I think I was always like a relationship guy and I definitely have had some like slut eras or whatever, but it was nothing crazy. And yeah. I, I just didn't really like that vibe. Yeah. Like I never really had one night stands or anything. So like. I don't feel like I'm missing much. Oh, this is funny. This is earlier when I said I have an open relationship story. Oh yeah. So she I was, thought you had something. I so was this trying was, to find it. So so she was leaving for tour for like, you know, seven months. This is like two weeks. And you guys kind of have like the open relationship. Like when one partner when you guys aren't for me, like my open relationship is so like barely open. Right. Like we're we're we don't keep a calendar. You know, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. not on the apps. It's like very much like I'm going to be gone for a while. You're going to be alone for a while. Right. You know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, don't that's torture how it, yourself. Well, so that's how it. So, so she obviously has a lot of gay friends because of musical theater. Shouldn't have said obviously. She, <laughs> she may or may not. What do you mean by that? She may or may not have a few gay friends <laughs> from the musical theater industry. And so she was talking to her gay friends about it because she was like, I'm leaving and I feel so bad that I'm leaving him for so long. I'm just nervous about us. And I would always be like, we're, we're gonna be fine. We've done it before. She's gone on tours for three months. Yeah. Two months. So we've done small stints, but yeah. this is like the biggest one. And so then she was talking to her gay guy friends about it. And oh, they were- Oh my God, of course. The worst people she could have had. Cause then she, cause <laughs> they go, oh, just just do an open thing. It like we did, I did an open thing and it saved my relationship. It was great. So she was trying to be very, cool and very like understanding By the way, girlfriend. that sentence, the open relationship save, or the opening was save my relationship. Crazy, crazy I would sentence. not rely on that as a catch all solution for yeah, whatever things problems. things are going bad. Don't yeah, fucking yeah. Definitely not. Just FYI, out. if you're listening at home. Yeah, but so she, she, uh, you know, we're, we're having a nice day. You know, we're in like Williamsburg, we're walking around, we're sitting by the water. This is like maybe the week before she's leaving. And it's kind of becoming ominous. We're like, oh man, it's really gonna suck. You know, oh, you, you know, it's, it's settling in with us. And so she was like, you know, um, hey, you know, I was talking to friends about it and you know, blah, blah, blah. And you know, I, I don't really want to do anything, but like, you know, I know that you didn't really like have a crazy time in your life. And I know this is getting serious. And you, so it's like, you know, if, if you need to go kind of mess around when I'm gone, like I get it. If you need to like get some stuff off your chest, like I understand. <laughs> And I was like, hey, God, thanks. I love the way people talk about men. <laughs> I, I, if, you, if you just need to kill a girl and throw her in the river. Well, she was being like, so like, I'm like, a, I'm really, I'm like one of the bros. Like, hey, dude, I get it. It's nothing. You know, it's just like. <laughs> she talks set. with a group of gay men in she, musical theater and she's like, I understand you now. <laughs> so she goes, I totally. And then I was like, I, I was kind of like surprised. And I was like, hey, like, you know, hey, thanks. I really appreciate that. Like, I don't really, you know, I'm not like jump in, whatever. However I responded was a little too like, oh, cool. <laughs> and then we got in a fight probably 10 seconds later. Oh. For five seconds, it was like not, I was like, and I was an idiot and I was like too like teenage boy. Like, you mean I can see boobs? Sick. And I was like, hey, you're so cool for that. I love, like some dumb shit. And then she, there's like a silence no. and she just goes, so you've thought about it? And I was like, uh, no, but I mean, I mean, but no, the light bulb is going off in my head. You put the light bulb there. You screwed the light bulb into my brain and now the light bulb is on. It was such a curb your enthusiasm. Like the trumpet started blaring. Like I looked right at the camera. It was such a like, are you? Yes. So you thought about it. <laughs> You say something yeah. way too specific. You're like, wait, so I can sleep with Jessica? And yeah. she's like, what? <laughs> I go on my phone immediately. Sick. <laughs> Why is your hinge already set up? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so we scrapped that. So we fought about it a couple times and then scrapped that. That's a thing that happens. <laughs> Got I thrown under the table quick. I see that a lot in straight relationships. Well, <sighs> Maybe that's not fair because I'm like watching The Bachelor. <laughs> that's what you're basing straight relationships off of? I yeah, just... I really get gay relationships. I've watched a lot of RuPaul. <laughs> so I get what you guys do here. Okay, but when you say it, that's problematic. That's problematic. When I sure. say it, it's empowering. Yes. Um, <laughs> you're doing your research. But, I mean, you can't really insult straight people for sure. I think you can say anything and it's still punching up. Yeah. You know. Well, I mean- Whatever. I, I, I feel bad for straight people at this point, honestly. Straight women, I, I genuinely feel bad for. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs>
But really um, hard. I feel like specifically on Bachelor in Paradise, there was a- Now I feel gay because I'm like, I've never watched that show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I love Bachelor. Okay. I'm a big fan. Yeah, very straight of you, I think. Yeah, super straight. Yeah, I never caught the bug. Um, oh God, I love it. But there's an episode on Bachelor in Paradise. Bachelor in Paradise, they can all like date each other, basically. Okay. And this guy- <laughs> That reminds me, sorry, can I just say, we can cut this if you want, but it's so funny when I was explaining to you queer love ultimatum because oh. we had people on the podcast and <laughs> right you went into that so skeptical and I you did, walked I did. out loving it i don't like reality tv but that was a fun watch but i was trying to i was explaining it to me i was like yeah i'm binging it right now and it's just like they're all together in their broken up, but then they're dating each other's exes like in front of each other. And Emil was like, so like lesbian dating? <laughs> <laughs> that. Well, that's what was so, so the New York, Yeah, so the New York lesbian scene. <laughs> but that's what was so genius about the show. Mm. It's like built better for lesbian couples than any other mm. demo. And they did it by accident. Um, yeah, and so this guy, this girl asks the guy if she can take him on a date, but he's very into this other girl, but they haven't made it exclusive. And sort of the vibe of the place is that you should be testing your relationships. You should go on dates, you know, and having that test actually helps your relationship. That's sort of like the ethics of the show, I would say, so is how they do things. So he, or no, she gets asked out by a guy and she's not sure whether or not to go on the date. So she goes back to the boyfriend and the boyfriend is trying to demonstrate that he is not jealous, that he understands this is a test, that he doesn't wanna be controlling. And he's like, I don't love it, but I think it would be good for you to see if there's a connection and maybe it'll make our connection stronger. And she's straight up like, don't love that answer. She wanted him. Oh yeah, to be that's protective so straight. And, to be protective. Yeah. Is you see, you say you want a guy. You want a guy who's like, I just can't help myself, babe. You're mine. Yeah. You yeah, want yeah, a guy yeah. who like, yeah. And then you're saying, why are these guys so mean, so awful, so dominant, yeah. so sexist? Yeah, you like, guys did this. To you. Us. <laughs> it's those goddamn women's fault. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, someone gets us. <laughs> Jesus. But I'm like, it's a little bit. It's a, you're a little bit setting yourself up for failure. Oh yeah, everything yes. that I think I want in a guy, a guy actually does it and I'm like, Ugh, ew. Right, yeah. and it's getting bad. I think part of it, <laughs> yes. I'm like, I want a guy to be nice to me. And then he's like, hi. And I'm like, hi. And it's cringe, yeah, yeah. when you call him gay. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> and I think we avoid that a little bit in the gay community, which I think is really nice. But I also- um, the, te the Well, I don't think it's an intentional test. like. With, no, with, it's definitely something. Like that's the thing is like my girlfriend you wasn't, you, yeah. yeah, it's like, it wasn't like she was like trying to test me and wanted a specific answer. No, it's like, no. and I really believe it's like, she was really trying to be like as mature and open and cool she as she could be. She didn't imagine yes. this scenario. She didn't expect my response and she didn't expect that my response would make her feel the way it felt. Yeah, exactly. You know? yeah, Which yeah, I totally yeah. get. Yeah. I'd feel the same way. No, for sure. And I, and I fall into this sometimes. <laughs> You know, we all do it. We've all been there like, I want you slightly jealous. Yeah. Like we all want- It feels so good to have someone be jealous. Just slightly. There is this optimal level of jealousy where you're like, I'm attractive, but you're not controlling. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that's- I'm trying to think if I feel this way. If I want, well, I don't know what the vice, the vice versa is of like, cause it's like, that's, you kind of want the toxic trait of the opposite so like, But only performatively. Yes, only in the exact- You, you yeah. want this like- yeah. But like if a girl was flirting with you at a bar and then, wait, can I, did you say your girlfriend's name? Yeah, yeah, I think I did, yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Is it? Kate. Okay. You know, no, I know her <laughs> You're name. You're just asking you for no, no, I know no. her name. I no, didn't no, know no. if you were trying to keep it like anonymous. Okay. No, no, she's, yeah. I mean, she's like also a public, okay. Yeah, she's uh, not But if, if a girl was like flirting with you at a bar and Kate was like getting jealous, would you be like, oh, that's cute. Like, that's kind of hot. Yeah, I think so, for sure. It's like a, like, I feel like that's the equivalent of like. Yeah. And like, I like when a guy is like, and I'm only saying guys because whatever, that's who I've dated. But like, I like when a guy is like, uh, gets a little like, hot and bothered over the fact that like another guy was looking at me or something or will like bring it up. Yeah. Or we'll like bring it up like while we're having sex. I like, love telling, hey, that guy was like- I love telling Jen all the time. I'm like, everyone was staring at you and I feel proud. I'm like, everyone- I do get that I've dated people that yeah. other girls have like 
Yeah. A girl tried to like straight up like fuck my boyfriend in front of me one time. <laughs> like straight up was like, was being like flirting with him, was being like, he's the hottest guy here, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, we're, and to the point that I almost was gonna be like, oh, I don't think you know, we're dating. And then she was like, yeah, and then you're dating him. And I was like, oh, you're just talking about him like this oh, wait, in front of me. You're, you're, you're helping us lube up? You're, yeah, I was you're like, our, you're, you're our threesome for foreplay? Maybe, but it really felt like, like boxing me out, talking to him. And I was like, what do you think is about to happen here? Yeah. making out with her. In front of <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm plan worked actually. Perfectly. You're like, what is going on? <laughs> well, that was, that was great. Thank you for Guys, that was so fun. sharing all Thank that. Well, we're going to go to Maddie. If that's where th this happens to me sometimes where people I'm, think I'm ending the episode. Oh, it but, felt like that. Okay. Sorry. No, but I'm actually just transitioning. No, it was, it was my fault. No, you're Welcome to the podcast, guys. Thank Emil Wakeem. Yeah, this is Emil Wakeem. We're he having him, gay sex with him. Stand-up comic. Listener, you have a lot going on, okay? You met someone a week ago and you've U-hauled. You're unpacking. You have to go to work as a barista or gay librarian, whatever it is you do. You're, you're busy. You don't have time to be cooking and meal prepping. That's why you got to try Green Chef. Green Chef is the absolute best meal kit on the market, okay? First of all, there's something for everyone. Whether you're trying to keep vegan, keto, vegetarian, they've got something for you. And if you're trying to eat healthy, <laughs> and you know, you know, my gut appreciates that, they have gut friendly recipes. Enjoy nutrient dense, science backed gut and brain health recipes developed in partnership with registered dietitians that improve digestion, reduce bloat, and also boost energy and immunity. Green Chef delivers whole food for your whole body. They're committed to providing a holistic approach to nutrition by offering meals that contribute to the overall well-being of your entire body. So no matter what you got going on, Green Chef has something for you. And it's delicious. They have seasonally inspired recipes where they celebrate the peak ingredients, flavors, and freshness. I absolutely love Green Chef. I can't cook, I'm going to be honest. I'm not good at it. I'm slow. But Green Chef makes it easy for me. And I cook for Jen all the time. It's very romantic. I highly recommend it. Go to greenchef.com slash 60gay and use code 60gay to get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. Let me repeat that for you, okay? Because that, that might have sounded too good to be true, but it's true. Go to greenchef.com slash 60gay and use code 60gay to get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. Green Chef, the number one meal kit for eating well. Maddie, what about you? Did you have gay sex this week? Um, I, I no. heard that you may have come close. We were at a bar and a girl was hitting on me and a meal at one point, this is what- Did you know? Yes. Because I thought it was uh, girl stuff. Like I thought it was like cute, just friendly. And then I was like, no, this seems real. Cause Emil afterwards was like, was that just like girl talk or was that flirting? And usually I'd be like, oh my God, I don't know. And I was like, that was flirting. Oh wow. It was, right? Yeah. I'm very proud of you for that. Thank you. No, it was like, she was like talking to me one-on-one, -on -one, like complimenting me, like specific features being like, oh, like your hair is so pretty. Like stuff you like that. You mean like what you did to me in the living room? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she asked me to start a podcast with her and I was like, bitch, I will eat you out right now. She did, uh, she did ask me when she came to the table, she asked what our names were. And I said, my name was Emil. And she went, what? And I said, Emil. And she went, Jesus <laughs> Christ! Kept going. So from then on, I was like, "I want my friend to have gay sex for the first time, but I don't like you." Yes, seriously. She might as well have been like, "Ugh." Yeah, yeah, yeah. She and literally was like, "Ugh." And I was like, "Yo, what the hell?" <laughs> yeah, it was so funny. No, but I was definitely yeah. I but I I wouldn't do that to you if no, you don't buddy, like my I friends. Would... I won't go on a date with you. Or if my friends don't like you. But that's how much I that's how much I want you to be happy is I would want I I even if they Bro, were racist, I I'd want would, you. I would be cool. How funny with would Maddie. it be if your first gay experience was a racist lady? <laughs> I would <laughs> <laughs> You're laying in bed. <laughs> Marge, I would, I would She's let like, I love Maddie. white women. You're like, what? Yeah. <laughs> I would let Maddie uh fuck Marjorie Taylor Green at this point. Oh my god. <laughs> any I totally any would. woman I'd oh, be who that's fun who like what fuck Lauren but no not Lauren but who's the um 
Uh, the really annoying blonde one. I mean, that doesn't narrow Marjorie it down. Marjorie Taylor Greene. No, 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 no. She's like a talking head. If I'm you don't think that America, blah, 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 blah. Do you know who I'm talking about? Is it a YouTube person? No, no, no. She was like on Fox News, but she's like, unfortunately, really. I mean, she's not my type. Laura, Laura something? Yeah, Laura Ingram. Laura Ingram. No, no, she's like, um, oh, fuck. What is her name? Can you please look up some pick me Republican racist, girls? It's racist lady. Lauren something, I think. Oh, she God, was really anti Kaepernick. Um, and she's Jen horrible. Knows. I mean, she's Jen. horrible. But if I had to fuck one racist woman, it would be <laughs> for the culture. <laughs> I'm just saying, if this was the scenario, Listener, right in. If you had to, gun to my head. If I had to fuck a Republican. It, that's hard for me too, because we are similar. I know I'm much more of a slut than you are, but we are similar in that, like, I have to be like intellectually stimulated by a person. So, like, yeah, I can't fuck someone I don't like. Tommy Lauren. Tommy Lauren. Oh, yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah. yeah. If I had to fuck a Republican, I mean, she's. So, I hate her so much, though. She sucks so bad. What's her vibe? What's her? Yeah, what's you the probably type? you've probably seen a picture of her. She's literally like, she's actually oh, one of the worst. Dude, yeah. You have like the the taste in women of like a dad and like the, this is like a Sports <laughs> Illustrated model. <laughs> That's not your sexuality talking. That's your gender talking right now. That's crazy. Yeah, dude. That's I the, actually don't really think Take she, the trucker hat off. It's getting in your head a little bit. So funny. No, I Where, actually don't think cycle she's- are you right now? Because this is really confusing. <laughs> no, I want to make it very clear. I'm not attracted to her. She's so but horrible. if you had to. But if I had to. I'm trying to think what you Republican, fuck Republican I would fuck. If I had to fuck a Republican? I'm about to Google top 10 hottest Republicans. The thing is, here's the thing, is she, I can recognize that objectively, if let's say I don't know anything about her personality, her views, and I just look at a picture of her, I can recognize that she is like whatever, objectively like a good looking person, but the Republican aesthetic it's, is literally yeah. like not hot to me. No, it's so gross. I need like a Bushwick weirdo lefty. No, that's too left for me. I'm a centrist. <laughs> <laughs> but like people with like bleach blonde hair and the yes. really light lipstick, I'm like, that literally, I think it's literally not hot you know to me what because I, I want, know your political views. I want the artsiest girl at the popular table. That's that is exactly so fucking my funny. Type. You want the brunette in the friend group of blondes. Yes, blonde. that's exactly, <laughs> that's exactly yes. what that's I want. so funny. Whereas you're, you are in the sound booth. <laughs> you're in the sound yeah, booth? I want, I, want the I want the people that are hanging out under the bleachers, like yeah, yeah. smoking yes. weed. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I need like a torture. I need like the perks of being a wallflower friend group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or, do you have a type? Um, I'd say it's maybe. <laughs> I know Emil's my, type. What's my, I mean, definitely boobs. <laughs> That's a Emil's type. I'd probably say boobs. Men and women are so different. I'm, I'm a trying simple to be guy. That, that comic. Wait, oh my God. Oh my God. We have to do the thing. Uh, rice or noodles? What the oh, fuck? Oh, just what do you prefer in a bowl of whatever food? If you get it something and there's a base. Is this rice, a new podcast? Rice, <laughs> no, no, no. This is, this is gay. It's rice, gay. It's gay. Rice or noodles? Rice or noodles. This is really hard. But I think across the board, with some exceptions, rice. And are you ass or boobs? Mm, I probably ass. It's it foolproof. Works. It works. <laughs> rice, rice is ass. Rice is ass. Noodles are boobs. That's mine also. Rice and ass. Rice so. and ass. See, rice I'm a noodles and, noodles and, and, and boobs. Noodles and boobs. Noodles and boobs. Noodles and boobs. <laughs> Do you get it? Do you see it? The way that <laughs> 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 right? This is the clip. The this way that the meal was clip. explaining it to me, he goes, "Yeah, you get it because it's like rice, rice, ass, rice, ass, noodles, 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 noodles. <laughs> So it's linguistics. Yes, it's uh, it's boba kiki or whatever the fuck that was. Yeah, what? Remember kiki the thing? boba, kiki boba, TikTok. Kiki it's like boba. A, it's almost like a weird like. It's like a subliminal test of like shapes and what you associate colors and words. Kiki to. is like Kiki, Kiki was like the, Kiki boba. is like the sharp. Like I'm boba. I think. scrap that. It's noodles and it's noodles <laughs> and rice. I I like boba better than Kiki. Boba, Kiki, boba. See, then it would make sense. But you're on the you know. Let I. It's ruining our th thesis now. <laughs> it's blurring the line of science. But rice and ass. I'm. It's pretty amazing. Rice that and ass up. is really bulletproof. Everyone we've asked has been. I love noodles ramen and though. And you like boobs sometimes. Okay. You Boom. probably have ramen as much as you suck on boobs. I don't know why. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's true. Oh, and because you suck on tits and you do noodles the same, you go. <laughs> totally. You're so and right. And you know when you eat rice, you go. <laughs> 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 you know 
before you eat rice, you always go, did you shower? Uh, you know, when you eat rice, you, you got to get in there with a fork. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> and when you, you know, how, like noodles have oil on them, and rice has like seasoning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know when That's when like, you go to eat noodles, if you're gonna use a fork, you're also gonna use a spoon. So you know, and you know how you put the booby below, you put the spoon below the booby. <laughs> Someone also told me that uh, if you <laughs> they'll just be like, nope. No, the end. I, you I, killed the riff. I zoned up for a shit. second and I felt so bad that I could, had nothing else to add. I'm oh, so no, sorry. I, I didn't. I had nothing else to add. Supposedly, if you were picked up a lot as a child, you're <laughs> more you're a, you're more boob, and if you were not picked up as much, your ass. Because you were just looking at their ass and, your and you thought it was boobs. Because an ass from ground they level bring. is boobs. Yeah. If you're on the floor, anything is, is tits. Yeah. You know. Yeah. No, that makes a lot of sense. Bro, that's the funniest thing. These I've ever. things are tits to me right that's now. So I'm just feeling. Like, you're just being neglected as a child, so you're eye level with ass, and you're like, "Is this my mother's? Are you my mom? <laughs> are you my mom?" <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that's so fucking funny. Hey, anything at ground zero could be tits. This is you know? another great clip. Um, <laughs> that's so funny. But uh, is there science behind that? No, not at all. Just purely, <laughs> purely opinion. No, the the picked up thing. That's like thing, one of those like. The picked up thing was a fact that a friend told me. So it's like three removed. Maybe there was some science behind it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. We have to look that one up. We have to look it up. But I'm just going to tell people like it is fact. Like I heard it first. First source. I'm. um. I'm having uh, sex with Jen tonight, actually, and I'm really excited. <laughs> you guys plan it? Well, sometimes when our schedules are really busy and we like keep wanting to have sex, but we're not having time, yeah, we'll be like, "Hey, how about how about this time?" Because like it needs to happen. So right. like, how about this day or this time? So that's awesome. Yeah, sometimes we do. That's great. And it is doesn't there... take anything out of it for me. Like it, it uh, I'm so stoked to schedule with her. You know, like I get excited for the time. Yeah. That really That's cute. awesome. Yeah. You just block off the night or are you like, all right, seven to eight? Yeah. What, what, just like, we like got a night today in together. she's got like a Zoom with her friends, her college friends in the evening. Nice. So we got to get it in before that. And we had like dinner last night and we got home too late because we had to be up early. How long for, you guys been dating? Well, we, 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 she's eight years younger than I am. Okay. So when we met, she was 24. You guys really dabble around the, everything that's bad if you're straight, you guys really like yes. to just twist the dagger. Yeah. <laughs> I, I really. She's eight years younger and we met, she was my intern actually. And yeah. we started a love affair that way. <laughs> I do think. I said, I'm, if you want a job, we have to go out a date. <laughs> is it toxic to think that it also is like women age gaps when it's two women? I'm just kind of like, yeah. That, but when there is, when it's, when there's men involved anywhere, anytime, I'm just like, just Mate vet it. Mateo vet it a Lane bit. has a great joke that he did at, at some point where he was like, when you have an age gap between a man and a woman, you're like gross, but like a 19 year old can date a 90 year old gay man. And you're like, oh, of course. That's so funny. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I think because, because inherently so much of the power is more equal. You know well, what like I mean? Yeah, it's like your joke of like, there's no, you know, we're so equal. Where's yeah. the fear? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Inherently, one person doesn't really have power over the other. But to go back to your question, she was 24. I was 32. Yeah. So we dated for a year kind of knowing it would end. Yeah. And um, preparing for that. And it ended very amicably. And then a year later, we got back together. Nice. Okay. Yeah. I forgot why. I, oh, it was because of the scheduling uh, sex. Yes. Because we've been together almost, that was four years ago when we first met. Okay, Nice. So like three years yeah. ish. My girlfriend and I are probably close to the scheduling sex phase. Yeah. You know, two, two years, probably getting there. Yeah. Well, we're, we'll start kind of, you know, sending a, a Google invite, <laughs> a, Cal, a GCAL update. It doesn't sound romantic to be like, hey, can we um fit this in tonight? But like, I think it is really romantic because you're like taking the time to make sure you're still caring for each other. That's sweet. Yeah, yeah. the... I kind of like the way uh, the relationship kind of matures into like the movie romantic stuff falls away, but then there are just kind of like the mundane, like the, yeah. the car, the silent car rides where you're like, we didn't even have to say shit. That was awesome. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. I agree. Well, anyway, I think this was an episode. It was a great episode. Um, really fun. good. Thank you for doing it. Guys, thank you so much for having me. That was a blast. Where Go can, follow Emil. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Well, Sorry where, if no, I did it. No, post, anything. host. Go host. follow Emil. 
Hey guys. <laughs> Follow me. Oh, I had a friend from high school that is an avid listener, by the way. Oh, cool. So shout out. I, I honestly forgot who messaged me, but. <laughs> well, I should you undo that. That felt and worse, he cares actually. about you less than you care about him. Uh, shout out to that person. <laughs> if you don't know who you are. They loved the show. They were like, oh my God. Because I think Maddie mentioned my name or something. And they were like, oh my God, I listen to the show all the time. So it's cool that it's cool the reach that you guys have. Well, that's not good either. <laughs> I really fumbled that end. Sorry, that was I my- I actually thought it was like heartfelt music coming that in. That was my alarm to remind me that I have a hot yoga class. <laughs> and that's why I'm on the podcast, folks. <laughs> and what's your Instagram so people can follow uh, you? Just first and last name, Emil Wakim. M-I-L-W-A-K-I-M. And uh, are you going on tour or anything? Yes, I have some road dates coming up in the new year. And I forgot what they all are, but- <laughs> They're on your website. They're on my website. They'll be on my website soon. <laughs> I'll update that ASAP. You've, you've got some time. Yeah. I'll post an Instagram thing and I don't make money when I sell tickets on these deals, so it doesn't really matter if you come. But I do. <laughs> AshleyGavin.com. I'll text you when I'm in your city. For sure buy her tickets. <laughs> buy Maddie's, I think, if she's getting door deals. <laughs> buy mine in like a year or two. <laughs> Madison, Milwaukee, in Wisconsin, Calgary. Phoenix, Miami, Columbus. Goddamn. Maddie T. Wiener on Instagram. Uh, I'll post my Reddit. Lyric Hyperion in Los Angeles, February 6th. That's going to be a lot of fun. I'm doing an hour. Patreon.com slash WHGS to support this podcast, you piece of shit. We can't run this on ads alone. It's a fucking joke. It's a joke. Put the cardigan back on and yell it again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How good was that one? Come on, man. This pot is so good. This pot is so good. You should give us a dollar. You should do it. Patreon.com slash WHGS. If you enjoyed it, just think every, it's so much better than the ads. I wish we could get rid of the ads, honestly. Um, maybe we could, honestly, we probably could if everyone donated a dollar. Oh yeah, will you do a gay thought with me? I, I, I'm running out of gay thoughts, dude. I'm, I don't even know, a, a gay thought. Do you want a mind melt again? That's fun. You want to do a mind melt? Let's do a mind melt. Okay. Okay, ready? I'm gonna close my eyes. Mm. All right. I'm gonna face you, but close my eyes as well. Okay. Three, two, one, come. Town. No, that's not how it works. Wait, I thought we'd each do a word and then we'd do the merger of the word. Yeah, but I feel like you said come town after I said come. It was clearly influenced by the thing. We just say it at the same time. No, 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 no. Yeah, mind melt, you say it at the same time because it has to be not influenced no, by the No, 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 you word. do a word. I do a word and then we do a word at the same time and we're hoping to say the same word based on the two words we just associated from. No, 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 because then that doesn't work because your word can be influenced by my word. We have to say the first words at the same exact time. So and it's then purely another and then we word? synthesize in those two that we said <sighs> so that our two are completely random. So ready? Three, two, one, Pinky. dinosaurs. Three, two, one, Land claws. before time. Three, two, one, carnivore? evolution. We're not doing well, Maddie. Evolution and carnivore? Three, Three two, two, one. one meat? Herbivore? Oh. Okay. Three, two, one, one vegetables. <laughs> I don't I think, think that we're kind doing of this right. No, I think we are. I think we kind of did it. Okay. Beyond Burger and Vegetables is pretty close. <laughs> well, our head was in the same space. So, Thank you so much for listening, everybody. <laughs> this was your gay thought from this week. Thank you, Maddie.